to my channel. My name is Becca and in today's video we are doing week two of the minimalism game here on my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'd love for you to subscribe. I post minimalism content, lifestyle content of all different sorts, and simple living content. So if you're into that, by all means, please subscribe. I'd love to have you. I did already post week one of the minimalism game. I'll leave that up here in the cards for you to go ahead and watch. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate if you did that. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so so I have to combine days 8, 9, 10, and 11 together in one day simply because I had to get a new SD card and that took a couple of days so I didn't bother filming. I was going to film on my phone but I did not want the quality of image and audio to be inconsistent throughout the video so I just waited. No big deal. We're not perfect. If there is a day that you miss that's okay by all means the next day just combine the two days just like I'm doing and so I do have 38 total items that I'm decluttering today. We're gonna just kind of quickly go through it. Days 12, 13, and 14 will be their own separate clips, so this probably will be a shorter video because of that. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, we're just gonna roll with it, improvise as we go. So yeah, let's get right into what I'm decluttering. So first up, we have this air compressor thing for our car. We actually have another one in our car right now, and this is quite a bit old, so we're gonna go ahead and let this one go. I then have some styrofoam plates and things that meat and fish would come on. I actually like to keep these simply for bake sale purposes or if I'm giving baked goods a friend or a family member. I tend to save these for that reason just to, you know, alleviate some of the styrofoam waste in the landfill. But of course, given the current world situation, I'm not actually going to bake sales, so I'm gonna go ahead and let those go. We also have here two light bulbs that are currently dead. We need the, to replace these, so those are gonna go in the garbage. We have this Vix rub that I really like to use if I'm congested, but unfortunately it is expired, so we're gonna go ahead and let this one go as well. Then we have some tea towels, some dishcloths, and some microfiber towels that just um, aren't really in the best shape or, or don't work up to the standard that they portray, especially these microfiber towels. They're quite soft and aesthetically pleasing, but they're unfortunately not very absorbent, so we're gonna go ahead and let this stack of towels go. Then we have three pairs of socks here. Then we have this little like strainer kitchen strainer, mini strainer thing. Next up, I have these three little tea candlelight holders. Next up, we have our alarm clock that no longer works. Unfortunately, we dropped it on the floor one too many times and uh, broke it, which is kind of sad because it's one of the ones that slowly light up with the sun, um, opposed to this like blaring noise in your ear first thing in the morning. We will probably repurchase one, just not sure when, but that will eventually happen. Then we have a like measuring cup thing that came with my bread maker. Then we have this little like um, clothes hanger clip that I used a couple of times on bags of chips. Next up we have these little condiment jar container things uh, from Tupperware. I was given a bunch of these last year and don't really use them so I'm gonna give two away to a friend and see if they would like them. And then we have two dry erase markers that uh, are dead. They no longer work so those are gonna go as well. And then we have this large container Container that I've honestly had for quite some time and I've repurposed it many different times like with for different storage options but I think I'm ready to let it go it's kind of served its purpose and somebody else might get greater use from it than I would and then lastly we have this Russell's dip jar I tend to keep my jars just to reuse but I have a cupboard full of them so I'm gonna go ahead and let this one go so that is totaling 38 items for days 9 10 and 11 we'll see you back here tomorrow for day 12 okay so it is day 12 of the minimalism game which means that we have 12 items being decluttered today and they are as follows. Okay so we have two, four, six, eight jars that are going back to the original owners. This jar is one that I had pure marmalade in and I cleaned it out. Normally I would reuse this but I don't really have a place um, or use for this right now so I'm going to give this to Todd's grandmother along with these jars that are hers. This one lost the lid but I'm sure she has one for that so I won't worry about that. But yeah she liked does uh, jams and canned goods so we are gonna go ahead and return these jars to her. This was something that baked goods came in from my neighbor so I'm gonna go ahead and return that to her and then we just have three of these food storage containers that I no longer use or really need so those are gonna go ahead and be decluttered as well. Okay so those are my 12 items for day 12. We'll see you back here for day 13 tomorrow.
Hey friends, it is another day of the minimalism game. I have lost track. I think it might be day 13. Probably, I think I have 13 items to go to the garbage or recycle or whatever. I don't know, but they're getting out of my house. So let's get right into it. Okay, a little overview of all of the items I'm getting rid of. Very random. So we'll start over here. We have two felt scraps that are going to go probably in the recycle. They were in my craft box. We have this little kitchen tool that I've never actually used. It again was in my craft box and I don't know, it's it's like a paintbrush or something. It might be for basting, but I never use it. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. Next up, we have two coupon things for Shutterfly. Next up is two scraps of wrapping paper from Christmas. We're gonna go ahead and let those ones go as well. Then we just have uh, two other fabric samples. These were a part of a Christmas gift that was given to me last year by a lawyer and I was hoping to reuse them in some capacity but didn't get around to it so I'm gonna go ahead and recycle those. I found another one of these cup measure things probably from my bread machine as well but I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. Then some dried up um, brown sugar. I don't know why this was in my cupboard actually because I have a canister for my brown sugar so I'm gonna go ahead and put the contents in the compost and then throw the bag in the garbage and then I have this thing of plant food that was given to us with a plant this summer at a nursery and then lastly we have an optic cloth I think I mentioned I definitely mentioned that I had a few of these lying around I think one thing that I'm really noticing about this challenge is that I have a lot of little miscellaneous items and not so much big ticket things that I would normally think of as a not a need in my home and I really I really want to encourage you guys take inventory of your stationery, of your arts and crafts boxes, of your you know toiletries. Like, do you have products in your house that maybe you haven't used in so long? Maybe you have skincare products that are expired, or you have dried up pens and a broken pencils, or maybe you have notepads that are half used that you know really just need to be recycled. There's little things throughout our homes that we don't really think about when we're decluttering, but that really take up real estate in so many ways and so I just want to encourage you guys if you're following along with me in this minimalism game challenge take inventory of the little things that you have because those items do count towards items being decluttered and yeah we'll see you guys back here tomorrow for day 14. Hey friends we are back for the final day of minimalism game week two. So far I have decluttered from days 8 to 14 so um, you know the drill I've said it enough times that you guys know we're gonna get right into what's being decluttered today. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little overview of what I'm decluttering today. So we'll start on this side. We have a mask that was left at my house. I'm going to return this to the owner. Next up, we have these, these little eyebrow scissors that aren't really working anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw these in the garbage. Then we have some felt scraps again from my craft box that I'm gonna recycle. Then we have a pile of just linens, random linens, some face cloths, a towel, a pillowcase, that I no longer want to use and I am recycling all of these because they're really not in the greatest shapes. So I'm not gonna go and donate them. I'm just gonna put them in the recycle. And then I am gonna donate this little apron. It's super cute, just not personally my style. So that's gonna go to the thrift store. But then I have two shirts that aren't in the greatest shape that are just gonna go in the recycle. So yeah, then those are all the items going away, all 14 of them. So that is everything for Minimalism Game Week 2. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up as it really supports my channel. Subscribe if you're new. I post videos on Monday and Friday and would love to have you be a part of this community. And yeah, follow me on Instagram. I'll leave the link down in the description box below. I do daily stories over there. So if you wanna see more kind of personal days in my life, head on over there and follow me. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next week in a brand new video. Bye guys. Oh,